Let's convert grams of lead, that's PB, to atoms. So we're going to use this graphic here to help us do that. So when we look at the graphic here, we have grams, but we can't go directly to particles. Particles, that's atoms or molecules. We need to first go to moles. So we divide by the molar mass. We get moles. From moles, we multiply by Avogadro's number, and we get atoms. So we start out with 217.4 grams of lead. And this is just a number I made up for this video. It could really be any number. So we have our grams. We're going to divide by the molar mass, and that'll give us moles. Here, since it's just lead, just the element lead, we go to the periodic table, we find the atomic mass, 207.2, and the units are grams per mole. So when we divide, grams cancels out, we're going to be left with moles, and we end up with 1.1 mole of lead. Now that we have moles, we just multiply by Avogadro's number, and that gives us atoms. So we have our 1.1 mole of lead, we multiply by Avogadro's number, and the units for Avogadro's number, atoms in one mole. So when we multiply, we have moles on the top here and the bottom, they cancel out, we're left with atoms. So we get 6.6 .6 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of PB, and that's in 217.4 grams of lead here. So we've converted from grams of lead to atoms. And it's the same process really for any of these problems. You take grams, divide by molar mass, get moles, then you multiply by Avogadro's number to get atoms or molecules or ions, whatever you're working with. This is Dr. B converting grams of PB to the number of atoms in that sample. Thanks for watching.